This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. All right, let's welcome in our guy Richard Davenport again this morning on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Uh, Richard, to Tommy's just point about the the exhibition games, I, I think that again there's there's going to be uh, a buzz around Fayetteville this weekend that you don't customarily have. Uh, any idea if you could see some some guys, whether it's football players or basketball players, that will unofficially visit this weekend just because of a, a decent marquee matchup at Bud Walton Arena? Yeah, I could see uh, basketball for sure. Uh, I'll probably be checking on that uh, today or tomorrow, but uh, uh, especially with being a, a 3, 3 p.m. Uh, tip-off, that helps uh, uh, kids be able to get to, to Fayetteville uh, if they're from out of state. Uh uh, at a, uh, you know, at a, at a reasonable uh, at time, as far as getting up and uh, making the trip, and uh, so uh, yeah, you, you would think that that would uh, attract some guys uh, in some form or fashion, no doubt. Richard, coach mentioned on Monday, Coach Pittman talking about the different calls he had to make on Sunday, not just the call to let go of Dan Enos, but the calls to different recruits from. Or maybe anyone's parents or anyone that you personally talked to, what has that been like, particularly on the offensive side of the football, with guys that are currently committed to Arkansas in future classes? From what, from what I gathered, I mean, that, that was just smart to, to do that. I mean, to, the, number one, you want to calm the nerves of the recruits and the commitments and, and let them know what's going on before it get, gets out there publicly. Uh, they, uh, from what I can... Uh, gathering and talking to some people he just basically reassured that uh, the next OC would be uh, somebody that fits their skill set and uh, so, you know somebody that would uh, uh, kind of mirror his his uh, philosophy so uh, I think it was just a, a, a smart move obviously the, to uh, to kind of calm the nerves before anything went public. Richard who would be some good candidates on that list if if Kenny Guyton uh, is not the one next year, and he's got a chance to maybe earn that job, who would who would be some names that would be on your list to to join Sam Pittman's staff next year? Man, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even given it any thought. Uh, 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 you know, I just no, I, I, honestly, I really haven't even given it much thought. It'd be somebody uh, likes to uh, RPO. Uh, uh, you know, 50, 50, uh, type offense. I mean, obviously I focus on the run. Uh, that, that would be a good question. I really haven't even thought about it. Yeah. I mean, my guess is you'll be looking somewhere in the, uh, the Saban Kirby tree, someone that that's connected, uh, maybe to Kirby and into the, into the history. And the good thing with Sam, he's been a lot of places. He talked about this the other day and he's made a lot of stops, done a lot of moving. So he knows a lot of people. So he'll have a connection to to find what what fits if he doesn't have it already in Kenny Guyton. Oh no doubt, no doubt. It, it, it may it, it might even be a professional uh, 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 coach. Uh, who knows? I mean, because you're right. I mean, he he has so many connections uh, through football uh, in all levels. So uh, I mean, we we may kind of think it'll be uh, be this type of person. Uh, you know, but uh, it could be somebody that uh, could be a surprise. Richard Davenport with us on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, Whole Hawk Sports, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. RD, tell us about Kenny Guyton. You probably have a relationship more than we do to this extent. The recruits, what do they say about him? And what have you learned about the former Ohio State quarterback? Well, you know, a lot of times when you're talking about a younger, uh, a younger assistant, that's uh, something that. Uh, recruits talk about is uh he's a, he's a younger guy that uh, relates well with them and uh i think that i think kj probably has uh you know maybe a comfort factor there in just the comments that he made uh just just because he, he's he's he, even though dan ninos was a quarterback i mean it, it, it was uh it was you know a different uh, different time and uh Kenny's a little bit more uh, more recent uh, quarterback, uh, and and still pretty young, and can can kind of relate to the guys. And uh, it seems to be uh, even even though I, I don't necessarily agree with uh, uh, the youth movement uh, totally, I think it's def definitely necessary. 
But uh, I, I think uh, wisdom and uh, older uh, uh, coaches are, are also a great asset to young men too, uh, just from a standpoint of uh, just that they've been there and done that uh, uh, and, and through, through life experiences and they, they can kind of help them uh, get through some things uh, personally and uh, along with, uh, you know, uh, football-wise too. But uh, he, he, he's definitely a guy that uh, – you know, kids relate to, and uh, he, he makes them feel comfortable. Richard, we know NIL is a big factor right now. Do you think it's more difficult for Arkansas to convince big donors after a bad season to go back to the well to donate more? How, how do you think that relationship works in conjunction with particularly football recruiting? I'm sure it doesn't help, but at the same time, you say, hey, you know, you know, <laughs> we got to compete against, uh, you know, all these other schools that, uh, uh, that they're obviously, uh, you know, loading up, uh, NIL wise and, and, and you can help us do that and get, get to where we want. And I mean, they're competitive right now, but I mean, Arkansas will never, ever be able to compete, uh, you know, against Texas, Texas A&M and, and large, larger schools with larger, larger, uh, alumni and, uh, richer fan bases. I mean, Arkansas has got some pretty wealthy people, and there's there's uh, there's a good amount of uh, wealthy donors. But uh, you you can multiply that by a hundred times or, or more, probably more in, in Texas uh, with all the oil money and uh, and all the, uh, the billionaires and millionaires. Uh, it, it, it's it's just going to be tough. It's just you you can you can uh, you can offer some good NIL uh, opportunities. There's no doubt. But uh, to be able to match, uh, you know, what those schools can do, it's going to be tough sledding, man. Yeah. Richard Davenport with us here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. We've been talking recruiting here with, with Richard this morning. We're down to the last couple of weeks, week nine of the high school football season. A lot of the season finale, uh, season finale rivalries and big games that will determine some playoff seating coming up over the next two weeks. Uh, anything stand out to you? I know a lot of people are talking about that Conway Bryant game that's a week away, there's a couple of big matchups around the state. Give us some of the headlines that uh, have caught your attention with high school football in our state. Uh, Buck James, <laughs> he's just a machine. He goes to Conway, and he's undefeated. He wins the 60th, his 60th uh, consecutive in-state game uh, against Little Rock Central last week. Uh, what he did at uh, you know Camden Fairview, what he did at Bryant, is, is impressive, and he's just continuing at, at uh, Conway. I mean, to me, that's the biggest thing, just how he can go from one school to another and instantly turn him into uh, a state title contender. Uh, he, he's just uh, he, he's a very old-school coach, very demanding, and a guy that uh, I think, you know, it takes it takes a kids, uh, when, the, when he enters the program, a little bit of an adjustment. But once uh, once uh, they see the results, uh, they they buy in, and I think you're seeing that with Conway. So I, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm just stunned at how he can just go from school to school and instantly just turn them into a, a powerhouse. Pulaski Academy holds like a six, sixty some odd game home home winning streak. Uh, they host Greenwood this week in a huge game in the six A West. Could set up a undefeated showdown. In week ten with Little Rock Christian in Greenwood in South Sebastian County, that that's an interesting game this Friday night. PA has not been on the the same level they've played at in the past, but uh, they're still they're still right there behind Christian and Greenwood. That's a that's an interesting matchup for RD this Friday night in Central Arkansas. No, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, two powerhouses. I mean that that right, that that game right there. You know, I mean, uh, it's. it's you know, most people that have been to Pulaski Academy's, uh, uh, you know, stadium. It's always packed because it's it's pretty small. It, it will be uh, uh, you're you're going to have uh, people just surrounding the uh, st- uh, the f- playing field. It, uh, that I mean, it's usually that way, but it's going to be that way even more so just because of this matchup. And then you got Kane Archer and uh, his brother and and. Uh, you know, the, just the powerhouse that uh, Greenwood brings to, to Central Arkansas and the uh, PA. Uh, I mean, they're, they're usually throwing for four or five hundred yards and five six touchdowns, and so 
So, uh, no, that you, you're right. That, that's a great matchup. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.